Hi garden friends. So today I'll be making a succulent arrangement in this cute mug that says follow your dreams. They know the way. I found this at the 99 cent store. I actually found two of them and the other one says together is our favorite place to be. Isn't that cute? So I'll be making this one today and I've already created drainage holes with a drill and if you're interested to know how that works I have a video on that if you just scroll down um, I explain how to do it and I'm happy to say that I have gotten a lot better since then that video is a bit of a hot mess so learn from my mistakes <laughs> but anyways let's get down to the planting I'll show you the plants that I have I have here cute chrysulas, and these chrysulas, I know them as blue waves, and they're cute powder green succulents with red, deep red margins. Super cool plant, highly recommend it, very easy to grow. As fillers, I have Graptocetum vera higgins, and I have five of them. Just super cute, peachy succulents. I also have a cute little paddle here and this is a Opuntia variety. Uh, very fine hairs on that so I'm gonna be very careful because if they do get you they they really they're kind of hard to remove so I'm gonna be extra careful with that one. And I also have this cute little cluster here. I want to say they're Aeonium spathulatums but I can be wrong. I've never been quite sure, but they are gorgeous plants that grow in little like, they grow like ground cover. That's what makes me think they're not Aeonium spathulatum, spathulatums, but maybe a sedum. I'm not sure. If you know, let me know. So anyways, I'll grab my mug here and fill it up with soil. But before that, since the hole is so big, I'm gonna put a plastic screen to protect it so the bugs won't crawl in and eat my plants. make sure I'm putting it straight where I want it to face. I'm going to start with the chrysula. I'm going to make my well in the back center. And I have here three pieces, so putting the bigger one in the back, that one to the side there, and the small one in the front. Just like that, maybe. I'm gonna hold them gently from the top, right there. Place them where I want them to be, and just gently anchor them down with the soil. And hopefully, they will stay upright. Okay, so that worked. Now I'm going to move on to what I think is a yonium, and I'm going to put it right over here. But maybe I should go for the little petal cactus right here. So I'm going to grab my knitting needle, make a deep well, because it's got quite the root system on that one. Uh, and I'm going to grab my tong here. I'm going to gently grab it from the top and with my right hand I'm gonna nestle it in there okay I'm gonna hold it there and gently just there we go it stayed anchored upright it's working with me thank you little plant okay being very nice. So, moving on to the spathulatum now. Make my well here. I'm 
hold it together, place it in there, snuggle it in there. Okay, perfect. Oh, that's so cute. I love this plant. Oh, hopefully it'll grow more and spread out. Now for the Greptocetum. The Greptocetum. Well, actually, let's see if I can just gently press these in. Yeah, just like that. So the bigger ones to the back, towards the back, just so they won't take over. And then I have three more. Ooh, I almost touched that cactus there. Ugh. And I have one more. And I'm wondering if they, it needs more soil. And I have a little leaf there that I lost. Yeah. I'll place a little more soil in there. Just so they can sit right on the top. And I will make the holes for them. It's just a smaller one towards the front right there. Another one here. These are two bigger ones. Small one there. Maybe I'll just do four. Yeah. Uh, okay. There we go. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, that's good enough. And with my needle, I'm gonna. I'm going to bury those roots that I can see into the soil if they work with me. There we go. Okay, that's good. That's cute. I like it. That's all that matters. I'm gonna dust these off a little. Ugh, don't wanna mess with that one too much, but it does have soil on it. Ugh. I'm not gonna mess with it. I'm just not. I've had really bad experiences with that one, so. Okay, keep it cool. And it's kind of straight with the front of the mug here. And I'll show you how it looks from the side angle. I guess you can't really see it like that, but it's so cute. Okay, moving on to my stones. And I'm gonna get some small ones here. Start in the back. making sure not to bury the succulents with the stones there, but I'm just trying to cover up the soil. And it's a lot of fun anyways. Pick this one up, that stone there. It's like a little puzzle. That's what it becomes. Oh, but that's totally cute. I really like how that came out. Thanks for watching, guys. This was a lot of fun to make. And now, if you see cute little mugs out there, you know, you know what to do with them other than drink coffee out of them, of course. Until next time, bye, friends.